mass spectrometry. Mass spectrometry is a powerful analytical technique used to quantify model materials to identify unknown particles within a sample and to investigate the structure and chemical properties of different molecules. It is a microanalytical technique requiring only a few nanomoles of the sample to obtain characteristic information pertaining to the structure and a molecular weight of analyte. This technique basically studies the effect of ionization energy of molecules. Nowadays, mass spectrometry is used in many areas, including domestical, clinical, geonistic, biotechnological, and environmental sciences. Mass spectrometry is a powerful analytical technique used to identify unknown compounds within the sample and to investigate the structure and chemical properties of different molecules. And it depends upon chemical reactions in gas phase in which sample molecules are consumed during the formation of ionic and neutral species. This will be happened by converting the material to charged molecules to measure the mass to charge ratio. Mass spectrometry has both quantitative and qualitative uses. The mass spectrum of each compound is unique and can be used as chemical fingerprint to characterize the sample. principle of uh, mass spectrometry. In mass spectrometry, the organic molecule is bombarded with a high energy electron. The energy is around 70 electron volt in gaseous state under pressure between 10 to the power of minus 7 to 10 to the power of minus 5 mm of mercury using tungsten or lithium filament. The molecules are broken, broken up into categories and many other fragments. And it is depicted pictorially where M represents neutral molecule and that is being bombarded with the electron. And it results in formation of a, a radical cation an ion with an odd electron radical cation and uh, this happens due to removal of one electron from the neutral molecule this uh, new uh, radical cation is responsible for a molecular ion peak in a mass spectra then uh, after formation of uh, this radical cation it undergoes uh, fragmentation. It undergoes fragmentation to form um, cations, radicals, neutral molecules like that. And among the formed species, only cations are detected in, in the analyzer of uh, mass spectrometry. The molecular ion or parent ion is formed by a loss of an electron from a non-bonding orbital or from a high orbital. And those uh, 
Mindflow AI is all built on a bit of uh, .AI, you know, which are also called as fragment AI. And these formed fragment ions or daughter ions are accelerated by an electric field and they are sorted out according to their mass to charge ratio by deflection in a variable magnetic field angle and they are recorded. And the output is known as mass spectrum. Each line upon the mass spectrum indicates the presence of atoms or molecules of a particular mass. The most intense peak in the spectrum is taken as base peak. Its intensity is taken as 100 and other peaks are compared with it. Mass spectra is used in two general ways to prove the identity of, identity of the compounds. Second one, to establish the structure of a new compound. Mass spectrum of a compound helps to establish the structure of a new compound in several ways. First, it can give the exact molecular mass. Second one, it can give a molecular formula it can reveal the presence of certain structural units in a molecule. Mass spectrometer. A mass spectrometer is an instrument which generates a beam of positively charged ions from the sample under investigation. It produces ions from the sample in the ionization source and it separates the ions according to their mass to charge ratio in the mass analyzer. Eventually, fragment the selected ions and analyze the fragments in a second analyzer and it detects the ions emerging from the last analyzer and measure their abundance with the detector that converts the ions into electric signals and it processes the signals from the detector that are transmitted to a computer and control the instrument using feedback. Components of a mass spectrometer the essential components of a mass spectrometer consist of a sample inlet, an ionization source, a mass analyzer, an ion detector, vacuum system. Ionization method. Ionization method refers to the mechanism of ionization while ionization source is a mechanical device that allows ionization to occur. The different ionization methods are as follows. Protonization. It is a method of ionization by which a proton is added to a molecule producing a net charge of plus one for every proton added. Deprotonization is an ionization method by which a net charge of 1 minus is achieved through the removal of a proton from a molecule. The third method is cationization. It produces a charge complex by non covalently adding a positive charged cation adduct. Example like alkyl, ammonium, etc. These species are added to a neutral molecule.
for example, carbohydrates are best examples with the Na plus as common cation product. The next method is transfer of a charged molecule to gas phase. The transfer of uh, compounds already charged in solution is achieved through desorption or ejection of the charged species from the condensed phase into the gaseous phase. It is commonly achieved through Margi or ESA. Eject electron ejection ionization is achieved through the ejection of an electron to produce to produce a plus one net charge of an forming a radical cation it generates a significantly fragmented ions example nonpolar compounds with a low molecular weight mostly achieved with the electron ionization ei source electron capture with the electron capture ionization method a net charge of one minus is achieved with the absorption or capture of an electron let's move into ion source ion source of organic compound is the primary step in obtaining the mass spectrum the minimum energy required to ionize the sample or organic molecule is called its ionization potential. The ion source is the part of the mass spectrometer that ionizes the material under analysis. The ions are then transported by magnetic or electric field to the mass analyzer. Molecular ions are formed when energy of the electron beam reaches 10 to 15 electron volt. Fragmentation of the ion reaches only at a high bombardment energies at 70 electron volt. Functions of an ion source It produces ions without mass discrimination of the sample. It accelerates ions into the mass analyzer. Classification of ion source, uh, desorption source. In desorption source, we have an electrospray ionization, matrix assisted laser desorption ionization, fast atom bombardment, field desorption, and plasma desorption. Atmospheric pressure ionization, in which we have atmospheric pressure chemical ionization. Atmospheric pressure photo ionization. Third, gas phase sources uh, which have electron impact ionization, chemical ionization, and field ionization. First, atom bombardment FAB is an ionization technique used in mass spectrometry in which a beam of high energy atom strikes a surface of the molecule to create ions. When a beam of high energy electron is used instead of atom, the method, the method is known as a liquid secondary ion mass spectrometer. Advantages of fast atom bombardment are it is extensively used for the ionization of high molecular weight. It is also used for obtaining mass spectra of salts depending upon the nature of its cation and anion. The FAB spectra usually provides a relatively abundant molecular or quasi-molecular ions and also shows some structurally important fragment ions. The disadvantages of fast atom bombardment are the matrix also forms ions or bombardment in addition to those formed by the sample, which complicates the spectrum. The FAP sample 
samples the surface rather than the bulk concentration of the solute. Henceforth, the amylate is dissolved in a viscous liquid. Typically, glycerol and ionization is achieved by bombardment of the sample matrix. The bombarding atoms are usually rare gases, either xenon or argon. Common matrix include glycerol, thioglycerol, 3 nitro benzyl alcohol, etc. This technique is similar to secondary ion mass spectrometry and plasma desorption mass spectrometry. In order to achieve a very high kinetic energy, the atoms of the gas are first ionized and these ions are then passed through an electric field. After acceleration, the fast moving ions enter into chemical chamber containing further gas atoms and collisions of ions then atoms leads to charge exchange. The fast atom formed in this process retain the original kinetic energy of the fast ions and proceed to its analyzer. These are the uh, what we have discussed until now is an uh, introduction principle of uh, mass spectrometry. In the next video, we can uh, learn about the application.